Hello everyone! We are going to be doing a live today with Raw Fruity Miracles in just a moment. Um, let's see, just to get us started. I'm going to invite all everyone all right i'm gonna start by commenting all right hello everyone comment all your questions down below we're going to try to be answering any and all questions and if you have any other comments you'd love to make let's hear where everyone is from and what what questions we have hello all right great to see you guys i'm gonna be getting on here in just a moment hello hello it's so great to meet Hi. you Hi. Yes. nice so to see to you meet. All right. Me well, too. Wow. I want wow. To That's you my beautiful. Victory. That's amazing. Wow. Thank you. This is the love of my oh. life. Uh, when do you get your fruits? <laughs> like, when does the figs come in? Wow. Oh, it already oh. has some figs. You hear? Wow, yeah. It has some figs. It, they, they get ripe. Um, they get ripe in about a month. Yeah, they get two times I get figs. One time I get it around June. Another time I get it wow. in August. And last wow. year I That's got it three amazing. times. Yeah, three yieldings of fruit. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes, and it gives me uh, fruits in heart shape. That's why my logo and Instagram, that fig there, wow, it's real. That's amazing. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. There's a lot of relationship between yeah, us. That's wonderful. And yeah. Um, well, it's so nice to see so you. Nice well, to just see to get you. started, could you, would you mind giving the audience a quick uh, introduction to yourself and just tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, well, I am Roya. Roya Cheyenne and I started going raw about um, wow. in a few months it will wow. be eight years wow. That's a long time. yes I discovered about the raw vegan diet by the way I'm going to be on chef AJ on May 6 and explaining all this stuff again um, I started raw vegan diet about seven and a half more in, uh, almost eight years ago when my husband got sick he had diabetes and all of a sudden he started having pain in his feet tingling stabbing sensation and he couldn't sleep so we were searching for solutions and he was depressed and i was getting depressed we thought that he might not be able to walk anymore or drive you know a lot of problems he was facing it was we were facing like a new lifestyle that we were not used to so that's when we started searching for solutions and we found out about the alkaline diet uh, we found out the relationship between alkaline food mm -hmm. and being raw and, and uh, that's mm -hmm. as soon as I started learning about that first I saw the movie um, the documentary wow. forks over knives and uh, yeah, it seemed amazing, but I didn't trust it 100%. I was like, I don't know if it's just sales or they're trying to sell something. Is it for real or not? So, but then I searched more on YouTube and I found I was, I got connected to people. I, I'm born in Iran. I was born in Iran. Uh, I came here when I was 18. So I, w I was able to see, to get connected to the people in Iran and uh, the doctors who had like cancers and they got healed and uh, the the documentary that they had posted 
uh, in my language on YouTube and I was able yeah. to go and visit them because when it's the same culture, you kind of understand it, it clicks more for you. Um, and I, I met them, I went to their office, I went to Iran, I went to a restaurant that they had for all vegans. And, you know, then it was, I was like, oh, this is all real, it's not fake. You know, something must be true in here. So I start, as soon as I started searching and learning, I said, you know what, let me try it. Let me try it on myself first. So I started, uh, I studied and I learned stuff and then I started eating raw food in the morning. And I said, you know, at that time I was overweight. At that time I gained weight. I was close to menopause. I was in my pre-menopause and I, I had so many issues that I didn't even think they were curable mm -hmm. or there was a solution for them. I thought I was getting close to old age and that's it. That's how life is going to be from now on. And that depressed me a little bit too. Uh, I wasn't able to go hiking as well as I used to. You know, sometimes I would go hiking and mm -hmm. then I would get a fever or heart palpitation. Um, like when I walked with young guys, I couldn't walk as fast as them because I was catching my breath and I had problems with breathing also. Many issues happened because... You know, some things happened. I lost a dog. I was sad when I took care of the dog for like two years really well. I wasn't able to take care of myself. Maybe we had high sodium food, too much, you know, prepared food. All that stuff made me more sick. And I didn't know. I, we were so focused on my husband's pain, being afraid that he would get handicapped. He wouldn't be able to walk or lose because we learned about diabetes, how it can affect you know numbness um you know or you have to like pull out your nail or stuff like that and we were so worried about him i didn't even know that i was dealing with a lot of issues too so i started going raw i said you know what let me eat this raw food and see what happens i didn't go shopping or anything i just started eating whatever that was raw in my fridge like carrot celery whatever and i thought that i would you know i wouldn't be able to hang in there because before that, before that, I, was, uh, I wasn't able anymore. My body type changed. As I got older, everything in my body changed. Like before I would diet or I would watch my calories and then I would easily lose weight. At that time, it wasn't happening. My, my stomach was getting bigger. Uh, I wasn't losing the weight. I guess it was my liver probably not functioning well. Uh, all this acidity in my body caused many things like I had um, spare heels I think you call it and then I had uh, that was very painful by the way just by itself I wasn't able to walk and the only solution that I had was to have surgery uh, uh, my toe was hurting my knee was hurting my ankle was hurting all at the same time and I, I took an MRI and they said I have to have a surgery and that would make me uh, rest for three months. And I thought, oh, my God, how am I going to rest for three months? Who's going to take care of my mom? You know, because I'm also a caregiver for my mom. And I'm also a teacher. So how am I going to rest? How am I going to do all that stuff? And, uh, you know, I had heart problems. Um, I had toe problem, knee problem. I had, I was getting, I had high blood pressure also. I had high blood pressure and I didn't want to take blood pressure medication. And I had anemia. I was bleeding, over bleeding because of premenopause. And I was like, oh my God, all these things that I heard about before. No, it's happening to me. And how can I stop this? I went to homeopath med med pharmacy and I got some stuff from there, very expensive organic supplements. That helped me a bit. But this is the time. I mean, I explained it in my book, Love Recipes. What issues did I have? Another thing I had was flat feet. And the flat feet always in my life hurt me. I wasn't able to stand on my feet for a long time. And then uh, besides that, I had varicose veins that were very painful at that time, more than ever, because I had gained weight. I had gained weight and I wasn't able to stand on my feet for more than like 30 minutes. I wasn't able to uh, you know, host my guests or anything. It was really bad, very painful. 
all my life I had very very close vein problems, but at that time it was worse. Also my eye, my eyesight, I had blood, I mm -hmm. had uh, eye pressure, really high eye pressure that was painful. And you know, I had a lot of stuff that I, I didn't even think these, these were any issues. These were big problems. I thought that everybody deals with these things. Also, when I looked, when I drove, the, uh, the, the sunshine bothered me with a regular glass. When I put on my glasses, it wasn't protect, protecting me enough. It was hurting me, like the, the light was really strong. I had to get special glasses. All these things were happening. And um, at that time, um, I, was, I learned about the raw. So my husband's diabetes was really a gift for me because I learned about this things and I started eating raw for a few hours uh, before that when I tried to like fast for like two hours I would shiver and I would get weak and I couldn't do anything I would have to just sleep but by eating this kind of food I noticed that my I, my energy went up I didn't die or anything I survived and wow. I felt better I felt a lot better just the first day just by eating raw until 12 you know and then and then i extended to like one o'clock i said well i'm feeling good i can do my chores i felt like it was nine o'clock in the morning because i used to come home after teaching around four being four or mm -hmm. five i would be dead i didn't have energy to cook or anything but eating this way i started feeling better I started feeling better right away and I had energy. I had energy to get things done, to grade my papers, to cook, to clean. I was really excited. That excitement, that energy made me want to do it longer. So I, because I was studying about it at the same time, about digesting food, how long it takes to digest cooked food and all that, and how long it takes to digest uncooked food and fruits and all this stuff. And I, I knew that I have to put off eating cooked food for later during the day and I tried it as soon as I had even cooked vegan food I would get sleepy and tired again so I experienced it in my body and uh, I started eating raw but I was eating one meal cooked food cooked vegan very clean once a week and then uh, later on my husband started going fully raw and I just copied him because uh, I didn't want him to feel deprived and I was excited to do it too so that's how I changed and it didn't take that long for me to heal my my issues my health issues my health problems they got healed I don't even remember I didn't time myself because I started it was like I was flying I was on a different journey uh, that's why I call my book love recipes because I experienced pure love and the miracle of the raw vegan diet. Uh, slowly, first of all, I started losing weight. Everybody was telling me every week, oh, you're losing weight. Before I was going to Weight Watchers, I had to weigh myself every week. And it was a pain to see that one day, one week I gained one pound, the next week I would lose it. Uh, then I would gain it. But on this path, it just came off. Slowly, slowly, every week, people told me you lost weight, you lost weight, you lost weight. So I didn't weigh myself anymore. I didn't have to go to the meetings anymore. I was just happy that, you know, I'm on the right path. And I continued until now. So I got a lot of results. Those issues were all solved. I don't, I don't even remember how I got through menopause. I went, I flew through pre-menopause. Those symptoms stopped. I was losing my hair. A lot of things were happening. I remember going to the homeopath pharmacy and they gave me a list side effects like things that normally premenopause people have there were a lot of stuff that I had to check I didn't have all of them there were like 50 symptoms I had maybe six and I was overwhelmed and I'm like wow this is what everybody has to go through but I don't want to take pills I don't want to take hormones I don't want to take those iron pills because I knew how they can cause cancer and all that stuff so I flew through that, like I didn't feel a thing. And then I don't even remember how I got through menopause itself. I just had no pain, just like a young person. Wow. 
So that's it's amazing. Mastery. Yeah. It, yeah. A lot a lot more I could tell you, but I don't know how that's much time you want to spend to on hear, this, like but, how much you're able to uh, heal from just through raw foods and I love that journey. That's so, so powerful. And your story is so unique and very powerful to share. Yeah, thank you very much. And my husband started feeling positive because he was very depressed, thinking that, you know, that's it, old age, he has to maybe not be able to walk. And it changed the way he was feeling and thinking. We both got super positive and happy like young people again. And then I started bringing it into my mom's life slowly, even though, you know, doctors were like, you know, even my raw vegan doctor was like, you know, leave her alone, you know, don't, because she was 80 something at that time. Right now she's 92. Uh, but I said, you know, I, I know I have this knowledge. Mm -hmm. I have to help my mom with her pain. When she came to me at the age of 70, she had so much pain, unbelievable. But uh, she had heart problems. She was taking um, blood thinners. Uh, she had a lot of issues. But slowly, I brought it to her life, and her pain wow. went away. Yeah. And I was able to also save her from a stroke. She had a stroke. She, had, she fell not because she couldn't walk. She started walking really well. Without a walker, she could walk. But, um, you know, I made her use the walker. So one day she was walking and her walker broke. She fell not because of uh, osteoporosis or anything or old age. She fell because the walker broke and she fell on the cement. And then she had to have a hip surgery. And then she had a stroke. And the doctors were amazed that she's not taking blood thinner because by her diet changing, she didn't need the blood thinner. She didn't need blood pressure medication, all that stuff. And then... I'm just going to add this because it's important. After she had her stroke, doctors were going to put a mm -hmm. tube in her nose to feed her. Because normally people after stroke, they have a hard time drinking water sometimes or even eating. They choke. And she was choking. But I knew so much about the power of raw food and eating fruits and juicy fruits and vegetables that I insisted. I said, you know what? I don't want a tube in her nose she can eat these foods if she's able to eat her fruits and i turned them into smoothies and i gave it to her an ice cream you know the raw vegan ice cream, that and that saved her and she's able to eat she's able to eat now wow so i'm really wow. happy about that's that. so amazing and to have such i like to hear about you and your book and all that your title the title yeah, of your yeah, book is amazing yeah. so yeah we should both talk about our books but yeah essentially so what i made for the raw vegan bundle was a seven day raw vegan reset so just a really easy way to incorporate raw foods into your diet um and so it has lots of smoothie recipes lots of breakfast and desserts as well as lots of savory recipes so you know pastas and pad thais and salads and some fancier recipes like raw vegan burgers and sushi um, but really just trying to help people incorporate raw foods and have that positive influence on people's lives and to help them eat more and more raw foods because it's very powerful. I loved how you talked about how it made your mood um, happier because I was thinking about that today, how I was stressed and I was a very stressful, anxious person for many, many years. And raw foods just completely mm -hmm. changed my entire mood and almost personality because it made me a much more positive and happy and calm and loving person um yeah do you feel like you've gotten a lot happier since going definitely definitely i also meditate so i have spirituality in my life but uh, you i have a lot more tolerance um i loved animals but even more the nature if i don't go into the nature hiking one day i don't feel as good i just feel like i belong there and the way that I can let go of things, you know, like, um, um, you know, people hold on to things like they, they hold grudges so much, they can't forgive as easily. And I was like that too, but uh, many things are, don't matter to me anymore, you know? Many things are not that important to me anymore, you know? And I love to feel, feed the animals that come into my yard. Like I have the top of my tree just for, just for the squirrels and bears and all that stuff, you know. 
I enjoy doing that. And yes, it has definitely affected how I feel. If I don't eat raw one day, or if not the one day, but one meal, just one meal, if I don't eat raw or very clean food, I just don't feel the same way. My mind is not the same. I also do water fasting and I enjoy it because of the brain. It's so free. It's so free. I'm just as if they yeah. injected endorphins in my mind with eating raw food. Um, as if they, it's just, I felt young, not scared, you know. The fear go, leaves me and uh, I don't know. It's just much happier. And I definitely saw it in my husband because he was very, he was pessimist. He was a pessimist. I, I'm going to write a book about that, how it affected our life and our marriage and my memories as a, a raw vegan couple, how it changed our life. He was a pessimist and he became so positive, you know, he became so positive because once you have less fear of, you know, getting sick and being ill and having no energy, you know, all that stuff, you are, your life is more open to do other things. You know, you become a different person. It definitely affects your mood absolutely, and depression. Absolutely. I completely agree. Yeah. I I know people who have, who got healed from bipolar, being bipolar. I know because in the Iranian community, uh, we have, they have like in the restaurant, they have people coming in every week, talk about how they got cured, what is, how they got healed and what illness got healed. So I have met a lot of people. It might not cure every disease on this planet. You know, we still need to check with our doctors and everything, but absolutely, it absolutely, helps. definitely helps. And there's uh, lots of things that we don't even realize it can help with until we try. And it's so amazing. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you created for the raw vegan bundle? Yes, I have some Persian recipes using the Persian spices like saffron and the dishes that I used to eat uh, before mm -hmm. I became raw vegan. So I turned some of them into a raw vegan food and I have the ice cream that's uh, similar to the Persian ice cream that's very famous. It's made with mangoes. And uh, originally they put cream in there. I use coconut in there. Um, I have a bread that is made with buckwheat that is really good for winter time. I have um, the cold soup that is made with coconut. I love that because I can keep it for a couple of days in the fridge and it, it, lets, it allows me to eat. It's good for winter time and for summertime, both. Uh, that's also um, a, ver a raw vegan version of the regular um, dish that Persians eat. Uh, they make it with yogurt. I made it with coconut. And, uh, you know, you can put a lot of herbs in there. I love it because normally I don't eat herbs. Like in my regular diet, unless I put some uh, dill or some cilantro, like cilantro in my guacamole if I make. I don't normally eat a lot of parsley yeah. unless I juice them. I get to put anything that I like. Like when I go hiking, I, they have here in California, we have native mustard that I just grab and I bring and I chop, 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 put it in there. Or there is something called malva in, in the yard. I don't know if I have it to show it to you. Uh, I'm going to look for it. That one has so much nutrition. That's also a Persian herb that some people make like omelets or stuff with it. Let me see if I can find that one to show you. So I can just grab it, cut it, and put it in there. Or nettles, you know, nettles are so good for us. And uh, yeah, I don't see it. It is, I'm going to put, I put it on AJ video. So you can check it there on May 6th. Um, it's called Malva. One of the names is Malva. It has different names. They're like a kind of weed that grows in your yard and you think, you don't think it has so many benefits, but it does. So any herb that you like, you can put in there. But mostly, I mean, a must is mint. I made mine in the recipe book. I use dill and mint. 
and tarragon and uh, some other stuff uh, so it, i like that i have a pizza recipe in there that's delicious it's really amazing i find it delicious uh, i have some sweets in there i have a lot of sweets actually i do have a lot of sweets in there and uh, i i wrote down all the illnesses that i had that got cured i put it in there how it got and what got healed um uh, yeah it's pretty it's pretty nice it's pretty nice it's it has stews i have fig recipes i have because i have a lot of figs i also have a tangerine tree here and i have a pomegranate tree you know in our uh, pomegranate origin comes from Iran. They also have pomegranates in India, but originally, if you search it online, it's originated in Iran. So, pomegranate has a lot of benefits, also, just like many other fruits, but maybe a lot of antioxidants. So, I made a dish. It's called Fesenjun in my language. It's called Fesenjun. It's made with pomegranate and walnuts and to make make it sweet i used figs so i like that too uh, with cauliflower cauliflower replaces the rice for it. it we have traditionally we use a lot of rice so i substituted that with cauliflower um, there is another recipe called tachin tachin originally again is made with yogurt but it's rice and yogurt and saffron but i used uh, coconut in there and it came out pretty nice. Uh, not every recipe in yeah. there is Persian, but I have a few. Yes. I like your book because that's what everybody needs. No matter how much you know about a raw vegan diet and how many years you do it, you still, there are times that you need to reset your body, get back to the foundation, get yeah. back to step one. So I can yeah, help absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. And I love, I love how unique your recipe books are and how you just have so many recipes that you don't see in most books and they're very unique. So I definitely would recommend that anyone that's watching to go check out her page and find all these amazing recipes, get the bundle and find all these amazing recipes because they're very unique, very flavorful. Um, and going into kind of our, ne our next question, what do you typically eat in a day? Um, I, I, I try mm -hmm. to drink a lot of water in the morning and, uh, you know, so I drink a lot of water first and then around noon, if I get hungry, I, I, whenever I get hungry, I'm going to be eating mm -hmm. juicy fruits. You know, right now is the season for oranges here in Southern California. I go to the uh, farmer's market and I get organic fruits. And they're amazing. They're so sweet. And last week they were huge. Um, they're so sweet. Like your taste bud changes. So the orange just tastes a lot better. Of course, these oranges are great too. They're organic and they're good. They're juicy. Uh, at the moment, I'm stuck. I, I love to eat these oranges. But um, any fruit that I have that's juicy, it can be grapes. It can be grapefruit, tangerines. If I have um, cantaloupe, mm -hmm. I love cantaloupe and watermelon, but watermelon season is going to be maybe in a month. We have it, but it's not. I prefer to eat fruits in season. Summertime, like in the month of June, when this beauty gives me the figs, sometimes for a whole month, I just eat figs. I mean, I do eat salad and I do eat nuts, but my fruit is just, I go on a mono diet of fix because i know how it has been grown and uh, i love eating it from my yard because i don't have to wash it uh, it's uh, so I, my body produces b12 more and the fix are so good for you they have so many nutritions in them it has calcium magnesium they're, they're amazing i can also i i also have by the way in my book i also have fruit roll recipe which i'm really proud of the fruit rolls i have fig rolls so which whatever fruit that you have that is extra if you have peaches or plums you go to the farmer's market you get a lot of them and you have a lot that is going to go bad you can't eat them because we don't mm -hmm. want to force ourselves to overeat that's not good for us. 
So I turn them into uh, fruit rolls and I even wow. make wraps with them. Yeah. yeah. I, I make a wrap with them and, you know, it, it's, it doesn't come off. It doesn't, you know, it's just, it's a very good wrap. Yes. I even made one time samosas with that wrap with the same fruit rolls, but I cut them and I keep them in the car or sometimes at night when I want something more dense, I grab, I grab one as a snack. Uh, yes. So in the morning I drink water. This is my ideal in the morning, drink water, then uh, fruity, I mean, juicy fruits. Mm, uh, you know, sometimes I just feel lighter to tell you the truth, not even eat anything for lunch. Not exactly at 12. I go with whenever my body is hungry. And because I teach online right now, I'm not moving my body at home. I don't get hungry sometimes until two. So I eat the fruits and then I go hiking and then I come back. If hiking is not possible, if it's cold, I go, I go to the gym and then I get hungry at that time. Then I might have like a spring roll, uh, like a wrap or a, sa a mm -hmm. salads I eat at night. Salads make me very sleepy. So I eat them mostly at night, unless I go to a restaurant. If I go to a restaurant, I eat a salad for lunch, you know, and then I eat more fruits at night. I eat after my hike, I eat fruits again. And then some nuts some nuts sometimes i make like a shake or sometimes i make like a milk with uh, almonds um, flax seeds uh, mm. or sesame seed you know milk especially if it's cooler and then at night i have a salad with avocado or some uh, dressing uh, i put some hemp seed on it yeah, I have a light dressing most of the time. I use um, lemon, some fresh lemon from my yard. I also have a mayor lemon tree here. Uh, yeah, or if I want to go fancy, I make a dressing for my salad. Or I have like my coconut yogurt soup or occasionally if it is a Halloween or Valentine's, uh, I'll, I'll make myself like a raw vegan chocolate or lasagna or some other more, you know, something from the bundle, which is amazing. I am excited to try everybody's recipes like Lisa, those wraps or Chris or everybody else. There's so much in there, by the way. Anybody who wants to go raw, anybody who doesn't even want to go raw, you don't have to go 100% raw. If you're like my mom, for example, you can introduce it into your life you will see the difference that's why i'm here i'm here to promote health i'm here to tell you i tried it it helped me you don't have to be 100 percent raw don't be scared of it because some people are like oh i'm not buying the bundle because i don't want to be 100 percent raw or i don't even want to be vegan you don't even have to be vegan to buy this bundle this is just healthy delicious food you can try the recipes and add it as a snack to your life, add it as like once a week or for dinner or lunch, or, you know, once you taste it and you see how good it is and how much better you feel, the high energy you get, you don't want to go back to old food. And it's okay if you want to go back to your old food. You don't, you're not committed to be 100% raw if you buy this bundle. And this is something that comes out once a year. So I really encourage everybody who can afford it to buy it because it is cheap. It is on sale and it is cheap. Each book can cost you $50. Some of these books are on Amazon for $50 later on. Some you will never see again. So I have to say yeah. this bundle is a great opportunity and they have amazing chefs making yeah i absolutely food. agree i think it's over 1800 dollars worth of material or more all for 50 dollars. so that's like 98 percent off or something crazy like that so definitely take advantage of that um honestly just getting one recipe book is worth the 50 dollars. so definitely take advantage now it's only available for a few more days so check out the link in my bio or the link 
um, in Raw Fruity Miracles bio, and she has everything there. And also check out all her great recipes. Um, is there any other last advice that you'd like to give going on the raw vegan diet? Any last? Ad okay, don't feel guilty. Don't criticize yourself if you cheat, if you're not able to do it 100%. Uh, or if you really want to do it 100% and you're like raw for a week and then all of a sudden your subconscious mind brings in back me your memories from childhood and you eat something that is not raw, don't blame yourself, don't criticize yourself. This is not about criticizing because you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy and then you're going to go back to cook cooked food. It's okay. Just know that every bite that you take, everything that every fruit that you eat, you are helping your body feel better and your mind. And, uh, you know, we all make mistakes. It happens. I mean, we have been on the old kind of food, the normal lifestyle for many years, and it's not going to change overnight. And you can be raw for two years, and then all of a sudden you don't know what happened. Something goes into your mouth. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I, I mean, forgive yourself. I'm sorry for the noise. Forgive yourself and move on, you know? That is not what gets you sick. One time eating something cooked is not gonna get you sick. But, but I have to tell you from experience, our taste bud changes when we don't eat cooked food. Once we taste it again, two or three times, we start making uh, unhealthy cells again. Our body starts making those cells. So when you make those cells, you want to be, you want the cooked food again. I'm going to go inside because of the noise. Sorry. Yeah. So when you, when you uh, eat cooked food a couple of times, then you crave it more and it gets harder. That's the thing. So on one hand, it's better if you don't touch cooked food because it's easier for you. Your body doesn't tell you, crave this, crave that, eat this, eat that. Your body helps you. But we are human beings. We have lived on the cooked food lifestyle for many years. If you put it in your mouth and you eat it, one meal, two meal, no, it doesn't matter. Just forgive yourself and move on and absolutely, start over. Absolutely, absolutely. That's really That's great advice. Just advice. to be gentle on yourself and to do the best you can eat as healthy as you can realize your body is precious and nourish your body with as you know best and high quality food as possible um yes and if they get, get your book absolutely. then they know how to yes. reset their yes. body you reset yes. yeah, and you just start reset again. just start you know start and every day try to be conscious of what you put into your body and be as healthy as you can and definitely take advantage of the bundle because there's tons of recipes in there. Um, yeah, any other last things that you want to say to the audience before we hop off? Just try it, just try it because you're going to miss a lot if you don't. You're gonna visit the doctors much less. You're gonna have more time to have to more freedom to be able to do the things that are fun and the things that you actually want to do in your life. And don't, don't um, go for other people's approval because when you started, it's hard at the beginning. When you started, your friends like are not going to approve you. Maybe they, you, you, you want, you go under peer pressure. You're like, oh my God, what are they going to say? They pressure you the first year. After the first year, once they see that you're really strong in this way, they're going to leave you alone. They're going to get used to it. My friends now, when I go to their house, they prepare raw stuff for me. If I want to try anything else, they'll be telling me, oh, that's not on your diet, but you're not eating cooked, you know? So they get used to it and they help you later. But the first year is hard. The first year, but don't Try to seek approval from others and don't wait for others to say, oh, what you're doing is fine and it's right because we're all different. But we find a way to not judge them, not judge other people as well. The same way that we don't want to be judged, we don't want to judge people who eat cooked food so that we can go out with them, keep our friends, 
you know, sometime, I mean, if you have to have a few uh, steamed broccolis to go out with your friends, no big deal. No big deal. You want to be able to socialize also, you know? I mean, I'm pretty strict and I would stay on my food because my, I'm an overeater and I'm a stress eater. We are emotional eaters in my family. So I know that if I taste the cooked food too much, too many times, it's, it will be harder for me because everything tastes good and then I'm, I have a bigger struggle. So I like to stay on it. But for somebody who's young and wants to start or even older who is not very sick, if you're not very sick and you have to have a little bit very healthy cooked food, a few bites when you go to a party to get over with, to keep your friends, that's okay because we want to feel happy. And this lifestyle shouldn't make us yeah, isolate absolutely. ourselves. Absolutely. That's really, really great advice. And yeah, definitely make sure to nourish your relationships as well. And honestly, most people are really understanding. And it's also okay if you need to, you know, if you just like eat cooked food, it's really just about what you're doing the majority of the time. And that's really, really great advice. And thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to talk. Yes. Thank you so much for inviting me. I had a great time talking for, with you, and I will definitely read your book a few times and Absolutely. then suggest it and I'm so to my to friends. All your recipes, and everyone, make sure to check out her page, give her a follow. She has an amazing story, an amazing journey with raw food. And thank you so much. Thank you. I'm also on YouTube channel great. by the name Perfect. Fruity S. Yes. I, yeah, we got to check that out. And yeah, everyone. Uh, make sure to go find her because she has an amazing story. And thank you so much again for joining. Thank, thank you, you dear. It was nice talking to you.